What's going on guys, it's Dane from Pokemon Collective. I want to let you guys know that there are people on Instagram and other places on the web getting early access to these celebrations ETBs. They are selling single packs and they are marked up way beyond MSRP. I want to inform you guys what prices you can expect at retail on October 8th when celebrations drops. These people that have early access, whether it's legal or not, they're definitely not doing the Pokemon community any favors pricing these packs the way they are. Single packs going from anywhere from $60 to $70 per pack. There are only four cards in these packs, guys, so please pay attention to the video. If this helps you out at all, go ahead and click the like button down below. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button. This video is not for people trying to flip celebrations packs. This is for collectors. Moving forward through this video, I'm going to be deducting $4 per pack for the standard Pokemon packs in each of these celebrations products to give us an average cost for a celebrations pack. So starting off with the mini tins at a price of $8.99, if we subtract the $4 from the standard Pokemon pack inside, you're going to get two celebrations packs at an average cost of $2.50. This is going to be your best bet if you're collecting celebrations. The Dragapult Prime box coming in at $14.99 is going to contain two celebrations packs as well as one standard Pokemon pack that has the same contents as the mini tin at almost double the price. So if those promos are worth it to you, yeah, go ahead and pick this box up. But you're looking at per pack for celebration spending about $5.50. Not the best way to collect, but if you're after those promos, go ahead and pick this box up. You're still going to get some celebrations packs inside. Now the next three we're going to group together. They have the same cost and they have the same contents inside. The Lance's Charizard V-Box, the Dark Sylveon V-Box, and the Zacian Pin Box. All $19.99 at retail. They're going to contain four celebrations packs as well as two standard Pokemon packs and you're looking at an average cost of three dollars per pack now you can bring the price per pack down if you're looking to move those promos on afterwards I know a lot of people aren't gonna collect celebrations but they do have promo binders that they want to fill especially being Pokemon's 25th anniversary now the V memories collection box if you were able to pre-order this was a GameStop exclusive it's gonna be $29.99 per box and it's gonna come with six celebrations as well as two standard Pokemon packs. Now, after we deduct the average cost of the standard Pokemon packs, you're looking at about $3.50 per pack of celebrations. You also get the Sylveon V promo as well as Lance's Charizard V promo. So for collectors, this is a great box, a great way to get both of those promos in one package. Now, the Pikachu V Union box, $29.99 at retail. It's only gonna come with four celebrations packs as well as two standard Pokemon packs, but you also get the four Pikachu V Union cards in there as well. Great for Collectors, great for players. V Union is a new mechanic coming up in PTCG Live, which should be releasing soon. And you'll also get a code card in that box to redeem the V Union card so you can play with those online. Now, the Elite Trainer Box coming in at $49.99 MSRP is going to contain 10 celebrations packs as well as five standard Pokemon packs. And it's also going to contain we can confirm the Gold Star Greninja as the promo card. Guys, please don't go out and overpay for this Greninja Gold Star card. These ETBs are gonna be printed in mass. You have to remember there's gonna be three waves of celebrations. If you weren't able to grab an ETB, please do not have FOMO and go and grab a Gold Star Greninja in the secondary market. Don't overpay for it. There's gonna be a lot of these around. It is a really cool card, but I do think it's gonna be easily accessible. So just wait it out. But the Elite Trainer Box, if we deduct the average cost of those standard Pokemon packs, you're looking at about $3 per pack of celebrations in the Elite Trainer Box. This is definitely gonna be one that you wanna pick up if you see one. Great for collectors. Got a lot of cool things inside. Standard Pokemon packs as well as celebrations packs, and you get that Gold Star Greninja, definitely keep a lookout, but don't overpay if you don't see it, because they'll show up. Now the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box, the price per pack is going to be a little bit more. You're looking at $64.99 MSRP for these. Definitely going to be a little bit harder to get since Pokemon Center is a bottable site, but it'll likely contain the same Gold Star Greninja promo, as well as three additional Celebrations packs and one additional Standard Pokemon pack. So 13 Celebrations and six Standard packs. You're looking at an average cost of a little over $3 for each Celebrations pack in the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. So that's all the products releasing on October 8th. We do have more products coming in October 22nd. The Celebrations Collector's Chest coming in at $24.99. That's going to contain six Celebrations packs as well as two standard Pokemon packs. The Collector's Chest is basically the little lunchbox. I think it has some other goodies in there as well, but you're looking at about $3.50 per pack of celebrations after you deduct the average cost of the standard Pokemon packs. Now the premium Pikachu VMAX figure, very sought after box. It contains that weird squishy Pikachu VMAX doll inside, as well as some other promos that we haven't seen yet in the US. 
but coming in at a cost of $49.99, it's going to come with eight Celebrations packs as well as three standard Pokemon packs. But we're looking at an average cost of $4.63 for each Celebrations pack. So if this is one you want to go for, just know it's a little bit more, but obviously you're paying for that Pikachu plushie as well as those other promos that are really sought after. Hopefully you can find one if this is one you're looking for. I think it's going to go quickly once they do hit the shelves. So just be on the lookout, be patient, see if you can find one at MSRP. Now the Ultra Premium Collection Box we aren't 100% sure of all the contents in that box yet, but coming in at the highest price point of $119.99, that's going to come with 17 Celebrations Packs and 8 Standard Pokemon Packs. You're looking at roughly $5 per pack of Celebrations, but this would be so much fun to open. This would be a great gift idea for the holidays if you're able to find any, which is really doubtful, unfortunately. In this current market but guys just wanted to inform you on what prices you can expect to pay and honestly what prices you should hold these sellers to guys you have to remember there are four cards per pack in each celebrations pack it is gonna be a lot of fun to open up but if you can find it at MSRP especially in wave one you're doing really well a lot of people are gonna go out and try to buy this product and immediately turn around and flip it there are gonna be a lot of collectors out there so you're gonna be competing not only with collectors but also with people trying to make a profit off of this when you go to retail. It's now confirmed that we're going to see three waves at least of Pokemon Celebrations. So just please, please be patient. If we keep buying at these secondary market prices, then the people selling them are going to think it's okay. They're going to make this the new norm. So these high profile set releases, especially these holiday set releases year over year, are going to continue to see this high scalping rate if we continue to buy these at secondary market prices. But guys, thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you, go ahead and click the like button down below. If you want to see more of my content, click the subscribe button. Don't hesitate to hit me up on Instagram. I'd love to chat some Celebrations market prices with you, as well as give you some reputable sources for where you can go buy product at MSRP. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. I'll see you next time. Peace out.